Alright, so a lot of you guys have been asking me how I do what I do, and this is a quick example of how I get Vicky started.
Okay, so uh, if you've been around in the past and you've seen some of my cooks before, uh, this is Vicky, the vertical smoker. And you saw me get her started uh, just a little while ago. But <clears throat> what I don't normally show you is the, uh, the waiting process. Um, this is that uh, dirty, dirty, dirty white smoke that you don't want to start cooking on. And uh, once the smoker comes up to temperature, you see, not very warm right now. But once the smoker comes up to temperature, the water that you saw me put in the bottom, kind of, kind of show you that there. But the water will start to evaporate, and once the um, the fire comes up to temperature and the water starts evaporating then I will clean it out and uh, get my cook started. But you see the nasty, 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 dirty white smoke. You don't want to cook on that. You want to wait till the smoker comes up to temperature. By then that smoke, that white smoke will have dissipated and you can start your cook. All right, so hopefully you can see or you see uh, the difference in the smoke as it was uh, coming out of the smoker. It's almost ready. Um, what you're seeing now is getting close to being all steam. It is slightly, a little bit of a uh, dirty, dirty smoke still, but it is, the smoker <clears throat> has come up to temperature. Let's try this again. I had this whole thing set up about me pulling out the, the grate and getting the brisket on there, but in my, uh, I don't know, my rush to get this cook started, I did not, uh, I didn't press record. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just talk about how I load my smoker. Because of the fact that the heat comes from down here in the firebox, up the side of the smoker, across the top, and then down, okay? I'll usually put the thicker piece of the brisket or whatever it is I'm cooking on this side of the smoker because more of the heat and smoke is going to come over and hit it. Um, I also typically cook fat cap up and um, I think that's it. I'm going to take some of the residual bits of seasoning from the foil and just kind of pack it on top and on the sides and your mileage may vary. And it's not that it's very, very effective. I just don't want to waste the seasoning. Put a little bit more of that up on top. Get it in there. Oh. Before you take the glove all the way off, make sure you push your uh, grate in. And then here comes the hard part, being patient while you wait for your uh, brisket to be done. Hmm. Wait a minute. Yes, this is different from what I was smoking before. <clears throat> Pork shoulder, turkey necks, and a rib roast. Yay, yay. That's what I'm about to take out. That's what I'm about to take out the smoker right now. I smoked it until I hit an internal temperature of 100 and 140, 145. I did 140 degrees only because I know I'll probably be reheating this um, a little later or reheating it later um, but yeah ooh that thing looks good let's get it out of there all right so here are my turkey necks 
I have, I believe I've showed how to smoke turkey necks um, in the past. <clears throat> if I have, uh, make sure you check out that card up to the top right. But all I did just now was flip them over. You see, this was the side that was up. And you can see where they were, where those two necks were tur touching each other. So I just flipped them over to get some smoke on this side. We'll let those go. And my shoulders, pork shoulders, not done anywhere near done yet. <clears throat> we'll let those go. Close this up. We'll be back later. All right, so uh, my cook is done. I finished everything. What I have here is the uh, pork shoulder, and then I will go ahead and um, show you the um, the rib roast in a second. But <clears throat> here's the shoulder, and you can see it's coming right apart. I'm actually getting ready to pull this a little closer to the um, to the sink so I can get this all pulled. And when I do this, I don't actually keep this this uh, piece of fat here. I actually kind of get it off and get the little bit of meat, as you can see. Get the little bit of meat that's in here. I have a little burglar here. It's hot. All right, so basically here is the uh, pork shoulder. Everything is, you know, nice and warm so it can be pulled apart pretty easily. I'm going to get on my <clears throat> thinner blue gloves. These are better gloves for heat, but they don't allow me the best feel for trying to get the meat separated from the fat. So I'm gonna change gloves, and uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, I, uh, I can't do this pulling of the pork one-handed, so I'm going to put the camera down and uh, get my gloves on and get this torn apart. Alright, so I finished going. I finished pulling the pork, and as you see, I have it. Uh, this is one of the ways that I'll, I'll prepare it. I'll put it in half-ounce containers. It makes it easier for me to sell and also easy for me to store. I'll put just a drop of barbecue sauce on top and then close them up. And they're airtight and uh, they'll last for a week or so but typically they're gone before then and um, but here you go this is the finished product of the pulled pork either I'll do that or I'll use big containers like such and um, you know as people order it I'll put it in that way and uh, last la last thing that I have to show you guys from the cook was the uh, rib roast Give me a couple moments, I'll get that out, get it started. Okay, so here's the rib roast. All right, it is, a, again, I told you it was a two bone rib roast. Kind of on the small side, but I'm going to slice into it now. Just bear with me a second. Stuck on the bone in the back. Let's see if I can. <clears throat> Calling the serrated reinforcements. Uh, there we go. Alright, here we go. Aside from the fact that I just jacked it up, let's see if I can cut a nicer slice out of here. There we go. A little, uh, still probably in the medium range. And uh, let's see what it tastes like. Very good smoky flavor. 
it's the first time I've used this seasoning and it's pretty good. Obviously, drip it down in the All right. You guys are always asking me to show more of my cooks. This cook was, um, the pork shoulder was more or less for my family for the most part. And this rib roast is mine. I'm getting ready to get a plate, get some vegetables, and uh, have my dinner. So uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And um, make sure you check out the links in the uh, description for some of my favorite barbecue toys and tools. See you next time.